Hi and welcome to this uh, last video of the unit 2D5 video notes and these are the, the kind of questions you might get for uh, extra marks for bonus. Uh, at this time I don't have a mastery check so if I change that policy talk to me about it. So it says um, a ball is thrown at 20 meters per second at 30 degrees above the horizontal from a building that is 50 meters high. Figure out everything. Well, okay, I guess figure out everything that we could. Um, okay, so, well, let's just draw. Here we've got a building. And this building has a height of 50 meters. So from there to there is 50 meters. Uh, the ball's thrown at an angle of 30 degrees. So it takes off at an angle, and it's going to kind of go through the air, and then it'll land over there. So... That'll be the basic uh, look of how things are. Hmm, well, what are all the different things that we could figure out? Um, so, well, the, uh, the time in the air. So from here to the end over there. How about B, we could figure out uh, this distance here, the delta x. Uh, how far away it, la it lands, delta x, also known as the range. Um, we could also figure out, well, how high? What's the maximum height? So if it starts at 50, then like here, uh, C, uh, we could call that delta y max, uh, maximum height. Is there anything else? I, th I think that'd be pretty pretty well lit. Okay, well, this isn't too much different than before. I guess the only difference between this and the other ones and why it's in the bonus one is that for sure we're going to do some quadratic. And, I, and I also, I'm only going to do one question now, and then you'll be doing the, the worksheet, and the worksheet's got some neat kind of questions too. So uh, just to start off, let's consider uh, our directions. I'm going to say that uh, x is going to be positive in, in this direction. It will be positive. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll make... Uh, up positive for y, so down is going to be negative. So if we start off and say, okay, what are all the things that we know in terms of x, and what are all the things that we know in terms of y? Uh, and we're thinking about this total time, so we're going to consider from here to over there. So, well, in x, we've got uh, vx. Um, hmm, well, I guess we need to figure that stuff out. We need to figure out how fast it's moving. Uh, horizontally and vertically because here's the information we have so that would be one of these we'd say okay so this is taking off at 20 meters per second so this V is equal to 20 this angle here is 30 degrees so here would be here would be my VX uh, here would be my VY I'm going to say VYI if it's the initial. I don't put that I in the VX because VX is constant. It stays constant all the time. But the uh, vertical velocity is going to be changing. So how does that work? Well, I say VX is equal to V times the cos of the angle. So when I plug those numbers in, I think I get 17.3 meters per second. Uh, VY is going to be equal to v times the sine of the angle. So 20 times the sine of 30 is a half. It's a nice friendly one, so we'll get 10 meters per second. So over here when I do this work, I'll say this is 17.3 meters per second. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out the time, and the time is going to come from the other section. So I'll put a little box saying it's coming. And then, uh, oh, actually, we are figuring out total time. And then later on, we'll use that to figure out B. So this is part B is going to show up over here. Uh, looking in the Y side over here, so I got V, Y, I, which is I had 10 meters per second. And it is up because here I said that up is positive. So it is, it is a positive. Uh, v, Y, final. Don't know what that is. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, delta T is really what I want to find out here. So I'll put a question mark. And what else do we know? Well, delta Y. Okay, so if it's starting up here and ends ending down there, delta Y is going to be minus 50 meters, right? Because it starts here and it's going downwards, so it's going to be in the negative direction. Uh, is there anything else we know? Yes, of course, we know the acceleration is equal to negative 10 
meters per second squared. Okay, so um, we need to have an equation that doesn't have uh, the final velocity, so that'd be equation number one, the one that we use so often, delta y is going to be equal to vi delta t plus one half a delta t squared. So put my numbers in there, I got a minus 50, it's equal to 10 delta t. A half times negative 10 is minus 5 delta t squared. It's going to be a quadratic. So I'll put this 5 delta t squared minus 10 delta t minus 50 equals 0. Uh, you know, I don't think that there's a nice uh, friendly one on here, so I'm going to have to bring out the good old quadratic formula where I'm going to say that a is equal to 5 b is minus 10 and c is equal to minus 50. So when I do all the work here I think I get that delta t is going to be equal to well 2 plus the discriminant which in this case is root 44 over 2 all over 2 uh, or 2 minus square root of 44 all over 2 and so delta t the two possibilities would be 4.32 seconds or negative 2.32 seconds. So this one would be the one. By the way, <clears throat> these, the, the big five is for when the velocity is constant. And uh, if this, if we were to sort of go back in time behind t equals zero and say that the conditions that the big five work on, that constant acceleration of minus 10, then it would continue to be in free fall back. So so it kind of makes sense. So if you would imagine someone on the ground uh, 2.3 seconds earlier had launched this thing and then it would pass through this point going 20 meters per second at that angle and then eventually hit the ground. So if you kind of go, if you say if it was continually being free fall and you went back, uh, you know, that amount of negative time it would still continue to work. So mathematically it does work except that it doesn't it doesn't model our real life situation. Okay, so we got the first one, it's four point three two seconds. Now we gotta figure out the range. Oh I got something weird going on here. Let's see if I can get rid of this. To figure out the range, well, I brought in the 4.32 seconds to the other side here, and I'm going to say delta x is going to be equal to vx times delta t. So that is that 17.3 multiplied by 4.32. Get a little squished in there. Uh, what does my calculator say here? 74.7 meters. So the answer to this one here, I'll try to do that in green again, 74. 0.7 meters. Now the last one is uh, delta y. What's the maximum height? Hmm, where's some space for that here? We can do it over here. So looking at C, that maximum height, I'm going to redraw our diagram. So we're going up like this. We're just interested in this spot and then this spot. We don't really care about the rest of it. So if we're, what do we know here? We know that uh, vy initial was still our, what was that? 10 meters per second. We know that the acceleration is minus 10 meters per second. What we're interested in was uh, what's the delta y? What's the change in this? Question mark. Um, and what else do we know? We don't know the time. I think we know that the final velocity in the vertical direction would be equal to zero. So the equation that has all those would be I think number five so it would be VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2A delta Y so this would be 10 squared yeah, gonna, oh actually that one's zero zero equals 10 squared plus 2 times negative 10 so minus 20 delta Y so I get zero is equal to 100 minus 20 delta y. So my delta y would be equal to 5 meters. Uh, i got to be a little careful here at the very end. What that tells me is that from here to here, this is 5 meters. So if the question is maximum height, well if I started on a building that was 50 meters and it changed by 5 upwards, so now it would be 55.
Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, yeah, try out some of the... This question is very similar in that you're just going to be given a launch from this spot. Uh, don't worry too much about the inclined plane. There's no like uh, inclined plane kind of you know from parallel and, and perpendicular forces. Same as here. So here you're going to be launching from this spot, but you're going to be having a, a vertical velocity of vy that's negative, that's going downwards. And that's a neat question here. Number I think that's just number three. So I hope you enjoy that, and I will see you in class.